Hey guys, I am Forever Game, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Violet Part 76. In the last episode, we battled Carmine, and we ran into Kieran, we met Drayton, and we have now joined the League Club, I believe. Um, contribute BP to the Baseball Club. I'm developing new throwing styles. Want cool new ways to throw Pokeballs? Let's spitball together in return for your little contribution to our club's finances. I get throwing styles? How do I do that? Rotototo. Thanks for su the support, Kalem. Wish we could do it in person, but let's try pitching some new ideas for new ways to throw. See, I was thinking I could hold my hand like this, get me, then swing my leg, and hee -ah. Yeah, you know what? I think that'll work. Talking through this with you really helped. We've come up with a real home run here. If you ever want to change how you throw your Pokeball, just give me another call. How do I do that? How do I do that? Oh, whoa, you did it. Not bad for your first time. That'll teach me to doubt your skills. Here, I've got a really nice present for you. From one charming catch to another. You obtain the catching charm. Um, more likely to get a critical catch. And have this too. Put it on and you'll look like the Drayster. You receive the League Club uniform. Anyway, feel free to computer it up any way you want. Like I said, we're a trial basis club mates now. And that's not all. For a limited time, you can have as many of these snacks as you want. The snacks are all yours, Drayton. Snacks you can leave around opened and half finished. I wouldn't go near any of them. Who knows how long they've been sitting out. All that, all that explaining left me starving. I think I'm going to head over, on over to the cafeteria. If you want to officially join us, maybe we can have a cafeteria date to talk details. A what? A Carmine. Don't make that face. Don't make that face, Carmine! I stole her man. Be seeing ya. Oh, she mad as hell. <laughs> I'm just saying, who wouldn't want to? Ah, that bozo. Seriously, what's his problem? And a cafeteria date? What does he even mean by that? Don't be homophobic, Carmine. No, I know what a date is. Were you seriously about to explain it to me? Not Carmine homophobic. <laughs> Sorry, being here puts me on edge. Let's go somewhere else. Some place people won't bother us. I know, let's go to your... Uh, a bitch? Does she, does she like him or does she like us? Because if she likes us, I feel like that's inappropriate. How do I change my throwing style? Pokemon Violet change throwing style. How do I do that? Return to the support. Okay. There's no way to change throwing styles or an in-game menu. Interview BP. Change my throwing style. What do the throwing styles look like? Probably the left-handed one, to be honest. How do I look? Can I throw out my Pokemon in here? I unlock throwing styles. Change throwing styles. What are throwing styles? Okay, um, let's look at left-handed. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's a look. Okay, we'll do, we'll rock the left-handed for a while. Mm, no, we won't. No, I want to change it. But I am left-handed, so I probably would throw it like that. What does I want to do? Like a Julie from Bakugan, like a, or like a May. Like I want to spin or like throw up. That is not elegant. Okay, we're switching again. What, do, what does the dainty one look like? I want to do like a spin. We're running out of league points. Um, dainty. I'm satisfied with that. I'm satisfied with that. I'll probably look up the rest of them off camera. Like, I need a video. I need a video to decide. I don't want to go to my room with Carmine. 
My dorm room. Okay. Does Karma- is Karma supposed to like you or does she like Drayton? Cause like I feel uncomfortable. This is boring. Well, looks like this is your room. Most BB students live in the dorms, you know. So what do you think? How's it compared to your dorm room back at your school? It's about the same. Um, it's blue. I like blue. Well, we are at Blueberry Academy. Of course it's blue. You can come have a look at my room later, too, if you want. Girl. Oh, but I got distracted. There's something I need to tell you. It's about Drayton and, well, Kiki. About Kieran. Kiki is... Well, you saw how he is. He's scaring me nowadays. Ever since we got back from Kitakami, it's like he's become a totally different person. He's been battling and training every day. He's even cutting back on sleep. He did look a little... He's... He's definitely gotten stronger. Drayton used to be the strongest student here, but Kiki beat him. Now Kiki's the president of the league club and the BB League champion. I guess he must be pretty busy. He barely talks to me anymore. Oh, well. He's probably just going through a rebellious phase. Kieran's changed, but you... You've stayed the same. If Kieran's down to w just one friend these days, I'm glad it's you. Keep sticking with him, would you? Yes. Thank you. And there's one more thing I need to tell you about. About Drayton? Ugh, Drayton, don't trust that knucklehead. He might seem like a slacker, but don't let him fool you. He's up to something. He's really annoying, super jerk. He barely even goes to class. He's had to repeat the same year three times. Point is, don't let your guard down around him. Ever. You going on your date? I mean, you're going to hang out with Drayton later, right? I'd go with, but I don't. But if I don't finish this report today, I'm going to be in real trouble. I'd love to join you. I'd love for you to join the league club. But if Drayton gives you any trouble, don't be afraid to give him a good sucker punch. Ew, we're about to go on a date. <laughs> um. I guess we'll go to the cafeteria. That seems to be where they want me to go. We need to go back to the terrarium. We need to catch more Pokemon. What have I become? I'm like, let's go catch Pokemon. I'm I'm not this person in any other game. But, like, like points are, like, locked behind me being able to catch all these Pokemon. So it's like, no, I need to catch them. I'm ready for my day. Hey, Calum. No need to stand there and grab a seat. Here's the Dracer's take. The Academy Special is the best thing on the menu. It's all soft. You can basically just gulp it down. Barely even need to chew. Chew your food, Drayton. <laughs> you and my mom would get along. So listen, your Pokemon are pretty strong, yeah? With a team like that, you've got a shot at becoming the BB League champion. Wouldn't that be wild? An exchange student just rolling up here and snatching the crown? I want to see you join the BB League, Caleb. You in? Sure, I'll... Look who's decided to grace us with their presence. Oh, I thought it was going to be Kieran. Oh, it is! Whoa, it's the new champion. It's the champion. And the rest of the Elite Four, too. What did you want to talk to me about? Nothing special. Just thought we could grab a bite. We're better to do that than the cafeteria. What a waste of time. If you've got so much time to goof off, why don't you go train your Pokemon? Think maybe this is why you lose to me? I'll take that as a no. So I can't swing a lunch date with you even if I got your old pal with me? Huh, Calum. Long time no see! W why? You didn't hear he's coming here? He was coming to study abroad here? For real? Yes, it's true. Dr. Serrano introduced him to me and we... Oh my god, why can I not speak? Director Serrano himself introduced him to me when we met at the school's entrance. Where are he tied us to? In fact, I was just asking Caleb to join the BB League. Oh, I like it. That'd be fire. Why are his eyebrows a different color than his hair? His eyebrows are blonde or yellow. And his hair is red. What? A student from another school joining the BB League. Unprecedented. She's my favorite of the ones we've seen so far, and I don't even know her name. Th that's right. 
Kalen may be wonderfully capable in battle, but that doesn't mean he belongs in the BB League. Aw, oh, come on. Do you all hate fun and friendship or something? You want to exclude someone who's taking our same classes and living in our same dorms? How's he not one of us? And isn't this place supposed to be all about students having autonomy? I think we should vote on it. I'm a yes, obviously. How about you, Lacey? I, I'm sorry, but considering the rules, it's a no for me. Oh my god, what a f- Ooh, she's so fake. I thought she was my friend. Fake. How about you, Crispin? Huh? Yeah, why not? He's at our school. That makes him a student like us, right? How about you, Amaris? That's pretty. What do you say? I abide by the rules of this institution. Proposition declined. Oh! Two against two, huh? Alright then. What says the reigning BB League champion, our mighty Kieran? It doesn't matter who I'm facing. I don't lose. Huh. <laughs> guess we've got our answer. Uh, Kieran, wait! Drayton! Manipulating people to get what you want, it's just not right. What? She's a hater. Like, I don't give a fuck about Lacey. Amaris, I'll forgive. She doesn't know me like that. But Lacey? I know Lacey like that. Like, what do you mean? Haters. Sorry, Caleb. Guess you'll be joining the BB League, huh? Well, let's look at the bright side. Maybe you and Kieran will become come out of this better friends. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you every step of the way. But now that the decision's been made, we better get you officially signed up. Meet me at the reception desk in the school's entrance area. Hmm. Well. It looks like the same cafeteria with just a new coat of paint. Um, I'll go. I want to go to the terrarium. I don't want to go to Carmine's dorm room. I want to go to Kieran's dorm room. I've, I've heard that you can apparently go to, like, the dorm rooms of, like, Arvin and Nimona and Penny. But, like, I don't know how. But, like, hmm, who's to say? Can I teleport from here? Or do I? No, I can teleport from here. Okay, zoom. Take me to... I want to go to the polar biome. What's the other biome? The canyon? I don't want to go there yet. I mean, I, we could, but, like, hmm. Okay. Time to go. Let's go to the polar biome. We have Pokemon to catch. So I can fulfill parents' stupid little requests. Oh, Chin Chow. How sweet. Okay, the polar biome. Is that a Mincino? I have a shiny Mincino. A Porygon! I really like Porygon. Porygon 2 is so cute. But I really like Porygon. Like, if you didn't have to trade to use it, I would use it. But you have to trade to, like, get its evolutions. And Porygon 2 is so cute. I don't really care for Porygon Z, but I love Porygon 2. A seal! Ah! Okay. Um. Let's attack, then. I don't want to attack. Battle. Power Gem. Oh, it's around the same level as us, though. Ah! That's a bit much. Zap cannon. Okay, give me, um... I guess we'll throw a great ball at it. We don't really have, like, a like a bright pink and blue Pokeball. Really? Double edge? At least it'll, like, lower it. I don't want to have to keep using, like, Ultra Balls. Oh my god, it's gonna kill itself. If it doesn't catch on this one, I'll throw an Ultra Ball at it. Thank you. Hopefully this catching charm, like, makes some use. Doesn't seem to be the case, though. Porygon, the virtual Pokemon, a normal type. Porygon is an artificial Pokemon created using advanced scientific methods. It can move freely through cyberspace. Also known as the Pokemon that was thrown under the bus. I'm not over it. Porygon didn't cause those seizures. Pikachu caused those seizures. Let's talk about it. Pikachu caused those seizures. It was the Porygon episode, but because Pikachu was the main character, well, the second main character of the anime, 
We couldn't throw Pikachu under the bus. We had to throw poor Porygon under the bus. Now, Porygon, Porygon 2, and Porygon Z are banned from the anime. Because... In the episode, I've seen the episode, obviously the one that didn't cause you seizures, the calm down version, but in the episode, Pikachu, Team Rocket, like, has, like, a mech or whatever, they're in cyberspace, Porygon's just there, Porygon just happens to be there, like, by circumstance, like, but they're turned into cyberspace, hold on, Mincino, the chinchilla Pokemon, a normal type, these Pokemon like things neat and tidy, they are always sweeping and dusting their habitat, using their tails as brooms, Mincino is so cute, and I have a shiny one. But, um, in the episode, they're in cyberspace. Porygon is just there. They're riding on Porygon, I think. And in the episode, Team Rocket has a mech, as they do. And Pikachu electrocutes, like, the mech. And it causes these bright flashing lights. And that is what causes the seizures. That is what causes the seizures. Porygon had nothing to do with it. Porygon had nothing to do with it. Porygon was thrown under the bus. It was evil. And now Porygon 2 can't appear in the anime. Porygon 2 got, like, in the world of Pokemon things, like, at the beginning of the movies when they would have, like, all the Pokemon in, like, little panels. Porygon 2 would get that. And, like, I think Porygon 2 got, like, a little, like, a cameo in a movie, too. That was it. It's evil. Like, Porygon 2 is so sweet and cute. Seal, the sea lion Pokemon, a water type. The colder it gets, the better it feels. It joyfully swims around oceans so cold that they are filled with floating ice. I like Seal, too. Dugong is so cute. Dugong from Pokemon, the first movie. Um, what was her name? Nisha? I think Nisha had one. She wrote it. The girl. She, like, wrote it to Mewtwo's Island, and I was like, oh my god, I want to ride a Dugong to, like, Mewtwo's Island. Like, I really liked Nisha. Like, a lot of her Pokemon, I really loved. Poison Terra Shard, a Bear Tick. What about some, like, Pokemon in the water? A Duosion. Hello. Ah. A Water Terra Shard. Another Seal. <gasps> a Luminion! I'd rather have a Finny. I'd rather get a Finny on. A Lapras! I'll catch a Lapras. I really like Lapras, too. In the anime, I'm so glad the Ashes came back for one episode. It came back. It was so sweet. It was so sweet. Like, in his Lapras, because it was younger, it was so much cuter than all the other Lapras. Like, its eyes were, like, a little wider. And, like, it was so much cuter. Like, I loved Ash's Lapras. Um, I'm gonna switch. Um, I guess to you. But Ash's Lapras in the anime, it deserved so much more. It was used as a boat. But, like, it deserved so much more. Like, it only got to battle, like, one time. It pissed me off. But, like, it was so cute. And, like, it came back for, like... It came back in Johto for, like, an episode or two. And then it came back in, um... Aim to be a Master. And I was like, oh... Lapras, my sweet... My twin flame. But it's so sweet. But I've always liked Lapras. They're cute. Like, it's like a top tier, like, just cute Pokemon. And, like, it was so, like, it was endangered in the first generation. And then by, like, Gen, like, 2 or 3, like, the Pokedex entries are like, because it was, like, because everybody loved it, they bred it so often, it's now no longer endangered. I was like, oh, how sweet. Like, that's such a cute little fact. Yay, we got a Lapras. Yay! Lapras, the transport Pokemon, a water ice type. Able to understand human speech and very intelligent and loves to swim in the sea with people on its back. It always wilded me out that, like, Lapras is not that big. Lapras is, like, eight feet tall, but three children were able to sit on, like, a baby one's back. Like, that, the sizing never made sense to me. I was like, oh my god, I could ride on the Lapras. But I'm like, the Lapras is only like three feet taller than me. I'm 5'7". So like, the Lapras, what did it say? It was like 8'2". So like, I don't feel like me and two of my friends could sit on the Lapras at the same time. I don't think we could. I don't think we could. I really don't. And that makes me sad. But like, maybe children, children? They were 10. But like, mm, I don't feel like it would work. I don't feel like 10-year-olds are that short. 
Milkery, the cream Pokemon, a fairy type. When attacked, it tackles its foe and covers them in cream. With its foe either blinded or astonished by deliciousness, Milkery flees. Milkery. Uh, somebody, I think Chloe should have had one in the anime. I actually think Mallow should have had one in the anime. Like a cute food Pokemon. Mallow should have had this and like Appleton. Mm -hmm. They should have had her come back and have her have a Milkery or like an Alchemy and an, an Appleton. I think that would have been so cute. But Milkery... The correct one to use is the star-shaped rainbow swirl. I think the rainbow swirl is, like, the difficult one to get. But, like, the star-shaped rainbow swirl. Like, that's the correct one to do. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. But that's the correct one to do it. That's the correct way. Mm -hmm. Charged on cave. Drillbur. Oh, I guess we are in Unova. Aw, Drillbur's cute. Iris's Excadrill, it deserved more. Iris as a trainer deserved more. Like, I think she should have caught a Drought again. Instead of that Dragonite, I think she should have caught a Drought again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I understand Dragonite, we have to push Dragonite sometimes, but, like, I feel like she should have caught a Drought again. Drillbird, the mole Pokemon, a ground type. It makes its way swiftly through the soil by putting both claws together and rotating at high speed. Why did they give her a Drillbur? Or an Excadrill? I feel like that was unnecessary. I feel like we could have had given her a dread again and it could have fulfilled the same role. Like it could have like not respected her. The same way like Excadrill did. And Excadrill didn't like evolve or anything. So like I feel like it would have been like fine. It just felt weird to give the Dragon Master like two dragons. She had like five Pokemon. And like two of them were dragons. It was sad. Because she had Emolga, Excadrill... Dragonite, Axew, oh, and then she caught that Gibble, but then I never saw that Gibble again. Joltik, the attaching Pokemon, a bug electric type. Since it can't generate its own electricity, it sticks onto large body Pokemon and absorbs static electricity. I think Joltik is so cute, too. Like, mm, it's so sweet. I really like Joltik and Galvantula. Like, they're, I really like them. Not a Rotom, Jesus. A Plessel, I don't want. Mm, no. I'll get a Minin. I have always liked Minin more than Plusle. Is it because it's blue? Maybe. Who's to say, really? But probably. And in Pokemon Ranger, if you pick, if you pick the boy, and I did pick the boy because I hated Solana's hair, and I actually liked the male design more. Usually, Pokemon Ranger, I think the male designs were better. So I would always pick the male designs in Pokemon Ranger. But like the male Ranger, Ranger Lunic, he had. A Minin, and Solana had a Plusle. It always pissed me off that Solana was in the anime, but Lunik wasn't. But at least Kellen got to be in the anime, the boy from Shadows of Almia. He's the one I played most. But, like, Kellen and Kate from Shadows of Almia, they were so cute. I liked both of them. But, like, I like Kellen so much more. Like, look up Kellen from Pokemon Ranger and Lunik. Like, they're top-tier designs. Minin, the cheering Pokemon, an electric type. It dis its dislike of water makes it take shelter under eaves of houses in rain. It uses pom-poms made of sparks for cheering. Minin's cute. It's like a basic Pikachu clone. Hmm. Like, you know, it's there. It's there. Like, I like it enough. Oh, Elekid. Elekid's cute. I really like Electivire. Again, another trade evolution. That pisses me off. I, like, really hate trade evolutions. Like, it's so serious. Especially the ones before Gen 3. Because it's like, what the fuck am I, How the fuck? I'm, like, six years old. How am I supposed to get a link cable? Like, I didn't know what a link cable was. How the fuck was I supposed to know where to get one? It was terrible. Like, I had friends that would trade with me. But, like, nobody knew what a link cable was. So we just never got one. What is that? Oh, mini ore. Maybe this one will be a better color. Um, power gem. Power gem. Don't piss me off, Glamora. Power gem. Okay, damage by recoil. Power gem. What color is it? <gasps> it's yellow. I like the yellow one. I don't know why. I'm not usually, like, a yellow person, but I really like the yellow mini or It's like a star, like a Luma from Mario. Um, let's do... 
an Ultra Ball. The color scheme will work. The Yellow Minior. I like Yellow Minior quite a bit, actually. I think generally it's my favorite Minior. I'm going to look at them. Minior. Images. So there's the shiny one is black, and there's pink, purple, blue, light blue, green, yellow, and orange. I like the light blue one too, from what I'm seeing, but the yellow one's my favorite. Minior, the meteor Pokemon, a rock flying type, yellow core. It feeds on dust in the atmosphere. The color of its core is said to be determined by the composition of the dust it eats. Send Minior to the boxes, but I really like Minior. I wish Sophocles would have caught one in the anime. I understand that would have like ruined the impact of the episode. But, like, it would have been so fun. Especially because his Vicavolt had no personality. I think Minior would have been fun. Oh, a Magneton. Ugh! It's sick how the Magnet Pokemon look in this game. It's sick how good they look. Like, who thought that the jump to the Switch, Scarlet and Violet or whatever, would cater to the Magnets? Like, who would have thought? Who would have thought? That Magneton, Magnemite, and probably Magnezone, I can't remember what Magnezone looks like, would look the best in this game. Who would have thought that? Genuinely, if you would have told me that, I would have thought you were crazy. Like, cuckoo banana crazy. But it's true. Like, they look so good. Rotom, no. Galvantula. Um, we should probably go back, because we caught quite a bit of Pokemon. Supercell Slam. I've never heard of that move. It's probably new. Elekid. Hmm. Another Joltik. Magnemite. Oh, I don't want to fight that. Damn it. Run. Yay, I got away safely. Okay, we're going to teleport. Oh, we're in the canyon biome. That's sad. Okay. I figured, because I was like, why are we... How are we still in the polar biome? <laughs> it didn't make any sense. Um, how do I get out of here? There. Okay, thank you. Take me to the entrance. Yes. I feel like we've caught quite a bit of Pokemon just now. Like, we've caught at least six. We'll go look at them later. A Torchic! Where do I find a Torchic? I feel like it should be in the Savannah biome, but it's not from what I've seen. There you are. This is where we can get you signed up for the BB League. Oh, okay. Hi. How can I help you today? I want to join the BB League. It says you're not that you're an exchange student, which means you're not technically enrolled here at our academy. Oh, don't mind that. We leave before I talk it over real quick. My friend, he's good to join. I don't mean to sound rude, but I'm not sure if I can take what you say at face value, Drayton. <gasps> Kieran. No, he's telling the truth. I'm allowing Caleb to join the BB League. Yes, champion. One moment, please. Are they not exchange students, too, because they're from Kitakami? Didn't expect you to ride up in shiny armor and save the day. I've got a feeling you're trying to play puppet master. But if I get a shot at battling Caleb, then that's fine with me. Heh, <laughs> that's just peachy. My baby boy. Caleb. You better not go losing to anyone until our battle. I'll try my best. My baby boy, he's still there. Good. Like, he sounds so crazy. I'm not a little kid anymore. And you'll know it when I show you how to... I'll show you how the best of the best battle. Kiki, you shouldn't talk to Caleb like that. Shut it, sis. See, if this was Kitakami, she'd have popped him. She'd have popped his ass for saying that. For saying shut up, basically. Looking forward to seeing you climb the ranks. My baby boy. It's sick what they've turned him into. I'm sorry, Caleb. Kiki was really acting out, wasn't he? That was my first time talking to him in a while, too. Man, such an attitude. Well, he's Mr. Big Neil Mighty Champion, after all. Drayton, you're the one who dragged Caleb all into all this BB League drama, aren't you? Me? No way. This was all his idea. Not he trying to throw me under the bus. Right, Caleb? Yeah. 
That's the spirit. Feeling that human urge to do great things, right? I don't know. Something fishy's going on. Is Drayton the mastermind behind the Indigo Disc? But well, if you're gonna do this, you might as well do your best. I'll be cheering for you. And please, keep an eye on Kiki for me. Oh, this is sad. Thank you for waiting. Your entry into the BB League is complete. Great timing. Caleb is clear to compete in the BB League. Usually, you'd start by battling regular students and climbing the ranks. But seeing as you got recommendations from several Elite Four members and Director Serrano, you'll start from a higher rank. You'll skip straight to challenging the Elite Four at their respective bases in the Terrarium, once you clear their trials, that is. I'll go ahead and mark their locations in your Rotom phone now. Oh, hers is blue. Cute. Okay, Lacey, Drayton, Amaris, and Crispin. So Steel, Fire, Fairy, and Dragon. Cool. To challenge the Elite Four, you'll need BP, which you can earn doing BBQs. Great. Best of luck in the BB League. You can start with whichever of us you want. Your call. Anytime you want to battle one of us, you'll have to do a fun little trial we cooked up first. Sound good, right? Catch you in the terrarium, bud. Okay, so... Apparently, Crispin is the lowest rank, so we should try him first. Okay. Well, I'm going back to the terrarium. Actually, debatably. We should probably go take a class or two. <laughs> we should probably... Because we need to finish the classes. We do, at some point. And eventually, we have to go back and battle everybody so we can do that stupid tournament. It's bad for us. It's bad for us. It's fine. We'll just go take our little classes. We'll just take two. I think. I think we'll take two. And then, in order to train up, because I think... What level are their Pokemon? Pokemon. Crispin. What level is he? Crispin's Pokemon range from levels 77 to 79. So, I'm, um, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We're gonna need to, yeah, we're gonna need to up our Pokemon. Um, give me Homek. Mr. Sagawaro, my man. I've said that about, like, five different characters in this game. My man, my man, my man. I've said that about Arvin, Kieran, Professor Sagawaro. Have I said, did I say about Grusha? Probably. Put away your phones, it's time to begin class. While you're out performing field work with one of your Pokemon walking alongside you, have you ever noticed changes in its coloration? Shiny Pokemon. Oh, no, I don't mean that it suddenly becomes shiny or any nonsense like that. I'm speaking of it becoming filthy. Pokemon battle, they get hurt by moves used against them. They get battered by wind and rain, they get covered in sand and mud. They get, in a word, filthy. I've seen many a trainer walking about with their adorable little Pokemon without addressing this issue. It's deplorable. Let me ask this question of someone who I am sure will not tolerate such shameful conduct. Ah yes, Master Kalem. What should you do if your Pokemon is dirty? Clean it up. Perfectly correct. I knew it could count on you to provide me with such an answer. When your Pokemon are dirty, clean them. This is of course simply common sense. While you're having a picnic, you can perform your Pokemon... You can approach your Pokemon on your team and perform a variety of actions. One such action is putting them through what I like to call the Pokemon Wash. In other words, you're able to clean them up. You start by getting... Oh my god. Yes, I understand. Once your Pokemon is nice and covered... Blah, blah, blah. You clean them and they shine bright as a Terra Jewel. Certainly quite a bit of work, but this will also restore HP and cure status conditions. I did not know that. However, some Pokemon may have parts of their bodies that they don't want scrubbed or that they would rather not get wet. Be sure to keep that in mind. Don't use it on your Charmander's tail. I must mention that some Pokemon like to be dirty. Though I will contradict myself by saying this, please do remember that cleaning your Pokemon is not always the kind thing to do. Our time together has come to an end for today. I bid you farewell. I think we'll cat Not catch. We'll do one more class. Yeah, we'll do one more class. Let's go to... Um... Math. But miss time with her trick ass questions. It pisses me off. Class will begin soon. Don't be tardy. Let's do this. Mm. 
It's probably gonna be terrible. <sighs> Hello everyone, let's have fun today. Make sure to review last class and materials in order to stay sharp. I know it was a little difficult with all that talk of multiplication and percentages and the like. But today we'll be talking about percentages again to learn probability. And it may sound like we're going to have another difficult class, but did you all know that you already deal with probability on a regular basis? Your moves generate generally have a property called accuracy, which determines the probability that they will hit. The accuracy of tackle is 100 or 100%, so if you were to use tackle 100 times, you could expect it to hit all 100 times. Is that true? Is that true? The move hypnosis, which puts opponents to sleep, has an accuracy of 60. 60 out of 100, 60%. Many of the truly powerful moves often have lower accuracy, so when you're deciding whether to go slower st and steady with moves that are sure to hit or hard and fast with stronger but less accurate moves, you're already studying probability. Let's see here, perhaps Surf and Hydro Pump will be good examples for this discussion. Surf has a power of 90 and an accuracy of 100. Hydro Pump has an accuracy of 80 and its power is 110. It's going to be like depend on the situation, but I would use Surf. Sloan Study wins the race for you, Caleb. May have it sound, but there's a correct answer, but there's not. You're free to use any moves you wish. Factors, trading. I'm never going to use Hydro Pump. Rock Slide and Stone Edge. But yeah, I will never use that. I will never use Hydro Pump. I will never use any move with less than 90% accuracy. If it has less than 90% accuracy, don't bother. Don't bother. Don't bother. I'd like to revisit a class so I can get the stupid correct answer. Math. Probability. I would never use a move with lower than 90% accuracy. It will never hit. The accuracy, if it's less than 90, it will never hit. It just won't. Once in an, once every other blue moon, maybe. But like, no, it won't. It's just a fact of life. It's sad, but it's true. Blah, blah, blah. Hypnosis. Lower accuracy. Blah, blah, blah. And Surf isn't even that lower than Hydro Pump. 90 and 110, that's not that much. Because Surf is already really good. You're considering various possibilities. What the fuck? Oh, there's not? Oh, so I just didn't get it. Okay. Factors like blah, 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 targets, hydro pump, surf. Okay, cool. Well then, I just redid that class for nothing. Okay. I feel like it depends on the situation would be correct. Like if there's no correct answer. Okay, let's look at our Pokemon. Okay, so in this episode, oh my god, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got nine Pokemon this episode, Jesus. Check summary. Oh, my mini ore. And it's yellow because the core smashed. Thank god. How sweet. And then we have plus, not plus, all. Mining, Joltik, Drooper, Milkery, Lapras, Seal, Porygon. Check summary. How sweet. How sweet. I love Porygon. It's cute. Encino. Oh, uh, all my Pokemon. Debatably, we could evolve some of them. Um, we could probably evolve a few. Um, let's grab, um, I guess we'll grab, um, not anything we caught this episode because the thumbnail will mess up. Um, let's grab Tynamo. And we can use one of our bag. One of our EXP candies. Um, I think a medium will work. One. Nope. Okay, three. Oh my god. Oh, really? Oh my god, this is terrible. I'm gonna have to get so many candies. Yay! Tynamo is evolving. Tynamo becomes electric, I believe. Yes, e ele electric, yes. I've never known how to say that. 
Electric, the Elephish Pokemon, an Electric type. These Pokemon have a big appetite. When they spot their prey, they attack it and paralyze it with electricity. Yay! We're gonna have so many Pokemon. It's gonna be terrible. Um, forget tackle. Yay! Cool, cool, cool. Boxes, put you back. Um, move electric there, and then, okay, so debatably, I'm gonna move the fully evolved Pokemon, or, like, the ones that have already evolved, like, over here, so it'll be, like, we're, like, making our progress. I don't think I can evolve Porygon, because I can't trade. I know you can evolve it in Legends Arceus without having to trade, because you can't trade in that game. But I don't know if that carries over to this. I think you just have to give it, like, the upgrade or whatever it's called. In Legends Arceus, and it'll do it. And then move Minior. Now, I don't think Scyther can either, because it needs to trade with a Metal Coat. Ugh, that's terrible. Okay, well. Yay! Oh my god, we're making progress! So, I think that's going to be all for now. In the next episode, we'll probably take more classes, catch more Pokemon. We may go re-challenge some gym leaders. So, I think that's going to be all for now. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!